Yo people, LSM here. In this video, I will talk about equipment that you should use in the game Nanja? and why they are good. Holy is here because she is best girl and you can't deny it. So let's start. First of all, we have four ranks of equipment. We have C, B, A and S. You can see what rank they are in their background. C is green, B is blue, A is purple and S is yellow gold what you want to call it so in equipment set we only have purples and gold rank A and rank S because rank C and B doesn't have extra effects they only give you stats when you reach equipment rank A they have effects with their stats so first of all we have two types of equipment sets we have defensive equipment sets that reduce the damage you take and they have more defense stats and we have offensive equipment sets they increase the damage you do and have more attack stats each equipment set that you can see the name below the image here have four items for you to equip and and based on how many you use you'll get their effects so when you use only two pieces of a set you get effect number one and they are always damage taken reduce or increase damage do these are the only two effects that you can get for using two pieces there isn't any set that have another effect number one and effect number two is where they get unique you see when you use the full set you unlock effect number two and these are the effects that you want to look at when deciding what equipment you should use. I will not talk about rank A equipment because they will not be with you for much time. You can start using them at level 25, that's like day 2, day 3. But when you reach level 40, you can equip rank S and this is like maybe two weeks playing so you you change for rank s equip for the rest of the game after two weeks of playing so let's start with alternative fashion effect number two is that increases the damage of of skill points skill that costs four more skill points by 14 percent it's very strong buff most good good damage skills are four or more skill points and is a good number to boost uh, another detail effect number one on the equipment they apply for everyone in your team your team being your support and your main so let's say your support have this buff your main use a skill this will buff your main skill but if your support have this buff and your main use a four skill point skill this will not buff that skill. This only affects the skill of the Kipeg character. So when you, you use a cross skill with two of alternative fashion, you get this buff two times, so 28%, which is a very strong buff. Most of the damage increased talents reach only 25 and you get 28 for free. So don't forget that. Effect number two only works on take bad character skill and their cross skill both are together so you can stack this buff so as i said before buffing skill uh, four five and six skill points skills is a very good because most of good damage skills goes four or more next we have gekota this buff the bleed not the damage of the skill, only the bleed damage and it's a very low boost most bleed damage are only 20% so the increase will be very low like 3% of the total damage not worth trash it out Bowser is the same as alternative fashion but for 3 skill points or less so it's 0, 1, 2 and 3 skill points skills very good, mostly for when you are not using cross skill because we have, we have very few cross that cost 
less than 4 SP, they are normally 4 or more. So, very generic, pulls a very good set. Pull time, this one, we still didn't get it in the game, uh, in this list here since the beginning of the game, but we didn't get it yet. The effect is that when you have 5 or more skill points, the damage of your skills increase. Looks very good for when you are using Holo as skill point battery, because she will always leave it at 5 or more, normally 6 skill points or more. So this one has potential. Sunday's best, another of the good, good equipment sets. This one you can only get for your guild shop and that's why it's called guild set sometimes, most of the time actually nobody calls it Sunday's best. So what it does is, after the keypad character uses their skill two times, they will get a buff that increases their damage for one turn by 16%. It's, this one is very good because this buff works on climax skills. So when you have your climax character, that character that you only use for the climax or the climax is very strong, you normally want to equip this one, use their zero skill point skill two times, and in the third turn they will get this buff and their climax will be buffed. Very good, very good. Next we have Yamato Charm. This one was event exclusive but after New Year it got added to the normal shop. Uh, it's an uh, offensive equipment. After you cast a climax, you get a buff that increases your damage by 90% if your enemy has less than 30% HP for 3 turns. This is very bad, very bad, because after you cast Climax skill, you want your enemy dead. You don't want a buff of, for damage after a Climax, and only, only 20%, and not not worth. You want the enemy dead before or or during your Climax damage. Mm -hmm. Very bad, very bad. We have also Sakura Soul Painted Dream. You know that Mashiro set because it works well with Mashiro and Holo can also use it. Holo, Mashiro and Maid Kuroko are the only characters in the game that can use this equipment set without any gimmick, an elemental gimmick. Because Kuryohime main can reduce climax cost, but that's uh, another topic. Only three characters can use this by standard and Mashiro is the best one for that. It's a very good set because when you use a skill that costs climax point, not skill, climax point, and for the last, increase damage for everyone in your team by almost 8%. It's very good for when you are spamming Mashiro skill. Buffs her, it makes her buff way better. Very good, very good. We have Ultimate Cad set. This one is exclusive for Tatsuya only works with his exclusive talent and states that increase the crit rate of everyone in your for the keypad character by 11% when that's we have fight analysis fight analysis is his when his exclusive talent is giving the climax damage so every three turns your attack have 11% crit hate so this one is mixed it's not bad because we have a good effect but it can't compare with poser or guild set or alternative they are way better because they work every time not every three turns and this one here buffs climax which is very strong this one doesn't boost damage only give you crit rate and if crit rate is a lie People know that you never crit when you want, so don't use this. It's not bad, but not good. We have Everlasting Wolf. It's the Kuryohime Bride equipment set. It buffs her climax skill. Because when she uses her climax skill, 
she gets she gives a extra frail for 42 percent and the enemy it's a very strong buff for her she was very bad before but now she have a niche with Muramasa and this equipment set she can give extra 100 percent damage for one enemy for six skill points it's very fun to use but it's not generic so you only get for here nothing more also when you are using when you make an area climax six skill points like Kirito with Kuryuhime Elementium only the front enemy will get this frail on the front uh, here in mid only gets the damage they don't get the, the frail very sad Fixative Head Lotus it's Kimono Shana exclusive equipment it have a big text here and I can't seem to go down but what it does is after she uses her climax skill every time she uses a skill she will do a true damage based on her bleed her crimson crimson bleed damage this one is very good for her uh, it's it makes her climax spunk very good but still only for Kimono Shana so if you have her you can pick for her it's good for her next we have game gear defensive equipment if your character moves on an odd turn he, he gets damage reduction the effect is cool and all but you want more damage you don't want to take less damage even in challenges you always want more damage so it's not a useful effect sorry about the noise a car car was passing by so mm, you don't want it the effect is not bad but you don't want less damage for your team you want more damage against your enemies shadows of Dove. after you inflict a debuff blood break fire you can take less damage this one is very bad because all of those stats need skill points and you don't want to spend skill points to get this much damage reduction it's cool on Mikoto main because her main talent can give frail and frail is a debuff removal debuff so she can get this this damage reduction for free but still you want more damage not more tank working demon lord buffs shields increase the points of shield shields are very weak they are very bad probably the worst buff you can get are shields and this buff is also very low very low not worth not worth doesn't don't lose shield seals Marcus art uh, after moving on event turn, you get the match reduction. It's the same as this one, only change the turn for all to even. So you don't want to use it because you want more damage, not be more tank. Astronomy fan, this one, it's good. Uh, it's a defensive set and increases the power of healing healing skills. Very good for healers. So if you have a healer and you want it to be a, a bit tanky and still have a good heal effect, you can use it. So we have Jesus weapon, wound effect increases by 13%. Wound is useless, I will show how useless wound, wound is but don't use it, this effect is useless. It could only have this one and you'll be okay. but. It's does nothing, does absolute nothing. For the last, we have Furikazan Armor. This was also a uh, event exclusive, but now it's in the shop. So, after you move for two turns, damage taken reduces by 18%. It's the same as Guild Set, but for defense. And it's probably one of the worst sets in the game because 
ha you have better options like this one it's way better you can get it every turn and this one you only get one time every three turns not good don't use it so I prepared that in here to show some why what equipment you should use and why so I talked about what are good so let's give an example show equipments here we have holo holo have a three skill point skill and it's very strong so you want to use poser three skill points 500 damage poser will give a good buff for her for her damage next we have mashiro with her and we keep set because she uses four or less climax points and give damage for everyone so the set give more buffs makes everyone stronger next we have Lifa Lifa is a healer she have heal and astronom set boosts heal power next we have Shana Shana have a uh, four skill point skill so these numbers will get buff for alternative fashion that's the set she have alternative fashion Shana also have bled but as you can see 35% bled so with Gekota this will only get like 40% it's like 5% only increase not worth so when the character doesn't have a skill that you want what should you do you do what I did with Mikoto we keep two pieces of two sets because as you can see the effect number one is highlighted on, on those two which means they are both active so Mikoto is giving 6% more damage when I use holo skill so holo is getting poser buff 3% plus 11% in her damage and Mikoto is giving her 6% more to make holo even better Taiga here is using guild set because her, her, her climax is very strong for a single target because of her buff so you want her climax to be very strong so she's using guild set this is only an example you can give guild set to Mikoto too because she has a good climax you can make everyone with, with guild set if he have good climax Shana sadly doesn't have a good climax so doesn't work well with her her climax is very weak you don't want to use the guild set on her okay so so sadly the game doesn't show those buffs during battle you don't get a icon showing that this is working but you get you get the icon for those two because the split says that you get a buff so let me show it I'm here on Psyche so now I will start showing the difference that makes using right equips so let's start here okay so Tiger have her high guild set which means that if she uses one of those four skills here she she for two turns she will get a buff so let's start one time now we use the for the second time and after this she wins you see that she got a buff here damage dealt increased by 16% this is the buff for guild set so if I use her climax now she will get a damage increase on her climax skill I see so let's let's skip this one here so let's see how much she will do
I I would want that she didn't crit. So she got one crit, 214 damage. So uh, round five, she gets the buff again because she moved turn three, turn four, and so turn five is the third turn she gets it again. So let's wait here so that I can use her Linux skill to see it being a little weaker. Okay, everyone, get back to your base. She doesn't have her skill 1 buff, so let's use it. She created the interface first, okay? And let's see. She didn't crit. Okay, so the last hit is the stronger crit check she can do. It has um, half the damage of the skill, and she created that hit. And she did less damage than when she had buff. So it's a very good increase in damage. She created a weaker damage and she did more. Okay, so now I will show how much increase you can get on a cross skill and on a normal skill when you use the right equip. So, Shanna and Wilhelmina have a cross skill and it costs 4 skill points. So let's pick here real fast. As you can see, 4 skill points they have a cross. Here are the stats. Just to show you that they will not have a different stat besides crit chance. I will show you, uh, they, are, they are not using alternative fashion, okay? So, when I keep alternative fashion, real fast here. They still have the same numbers. So, let's equip, equip them with wrong equipment. So, they don't have the right equipment. And, Summer Mikoto also don't have her, she has uh, 3 skill points, I will show her with Poser. So let's start, these are the stats, so let, uh, I will leave here uh, for a little to you if, if you want to check the stats with time. So okay, let's show you how much damage you can get for using the, high, the right equipment. Let's go online. Okay, so I am where I want. So, first of all, Summer Mikoto has a 3 skill point and she using alternative fashion that buffs skill points that puts 4 or more. So, what buffs she have here? She have more crit hate for the damage to be consistent, I pick it here because she can put crit hate for everyone, so I don't need to do that many runs to get to test the same damage. So her only damage buff right now is uh, Indra crit damage increase. So let's see how much damage she does with a three skill points. She did. 107,000 So, Shana, what does Shana have? She have her Elementium damage She have her exclusive talent at 5 stacks She have crit rate to be more consistent And Indra So, let's see how much damage she does Two hundred and forty-six damage. So let's end this. Now I will equip the right equipment to them and test the damage again. So let's start. Let's let's show you here that they are still using the wrong equipment. 
here the same stats they are using guild and poser i did the turn six so guild said wouldn't proc because shana needs to attack for her talent works so at, at turn six she doesn't have guild set buff so let's change it shana will get poser will hemna will get poser and mikoto will get Oh, alternative fashion here. It's not poser. Alternative fashion for both. And Mikoto will get poser. Kurohim will get Zwan. And their stats are the same. They didn't change stats. They only changed equip. So let's test how the damage will be. I am here again. So let's see this again. Both that Mikoto have crit hate. Crit hate, crit hate, and Indra. Only Indra increases her damage, critical damage. Shana is the same. She have, she have her elemental talent at five stacks. Critical damage with Indra and critical hate. So let's see. Mikoto now have poser. Let's see how much damage she does. So, she got 10,000 more damage, that's a good increase, and Shana, please crit Shana, please. Shana didn't crit that well, if you, you couldn't see, her mid didn't crit well, so, but still, she didn't crit mid, last time she critted everything, and she still did 20,000 more damage. Let's see if I can make her crit everything in the next round. Let's see here. I hope she... she does. Uh, I can't use Indra because it's on her turn, so... We caught him without Indra. You can miss too. So, let's see. Please crit. Yeah, 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 she didn't. But you, for you could see in her cross the first time, she did 246 damage, and now without critting everything, she did 466 and 66 damage. So 20. 10,000 increase it's a very good increase like if you use her cross skill cross skill six times in the battle on the crap din that is more than 100 damage increase 100,000 damage very big so let's now show why wound isn't good so I am on Kuryohime Fragment stage because she have a Kirino here and this Kirino will heal turn two. So in the team I have Kirito. He have wound. Let's show here. Skill two. He have wound effect. Sixty-six for wound. So let's start to see how much. Kirino will heal. So here we are. Here we are. Let's not use any skill on this stage. Only zero skill points. So as you can see, I can do above 20,000 damage with other skills. Kirito doesn't have good numbers on him, but. I get good numbers of damage here, 40,000, the enemy does little damage because they are enemy, so now it's the turn that Kirino will use her heal, so let's see how strong her heal is, okay, let's see why should we hear enemy heals, so 
Let's head to the speed here so we can see. Okay, here it comes. Don't blink or you lose it. And she heals 1000. 1000. I do. I literally do. 10 times that damage with, with my skill. I can do 10 times that damage if you treated everything. Like six times here, Kirito. Kirito, you do more damage than what you heal, and his skill isn't good. So, so now she have uh, she have a wand. I think turn four she will heal again. Uh, okay, I, I I forgot that she uh, this stage ended. Uh, my bad, my bad. So I don't want to save. Let's do that again. She healed 1000. 1000 when I do more than 10,000 damage. I do 10 times her damage with no skill points. So let's see. Let's see how, how much she will heal now. Okay, let's pick a uh, crit buffy here because I want Kirito to, to do a big damage for a comparison. Okay, let's go Kirito. Do your job. Yeah, he got good crits. Yeah, that's the damage he can do with crits. 64,000. Okay, Kirino. Let's see how much you will heal. 300. So, I use 3 skill points. 3 skill points to do. To do. Uh, 6 4000 damage and reduce their heal. Now. Now look at this. Just wait for her to attack, I should have this speed as well. So, it was 6 4000. As you can see, Kirito doesn't have even 300 damage on his, his skill. Polo at 500. So, why should you use this garbage, this garbage called Wound that makes your skill weaker instead of just using a good skill like I am debuffed I have less damage I have two enemies this is almost the same damage as Kirito did without the buff against three enemies for the same cost and for what? 700 heal on every enemy? Why? I can hit Q10. When you reach this point, you are doing more damage than they heal. They can't out heal your damage. That's why Wound is garbage. It's the same principle as Bleed Backfire, because the number you get... Let's return to that stage. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. here. Because the number you get on a bleed doesn't compare for a damage skill. So now let's show Shanna for a skill point bleed and here for a skill point damage comparison. Okay, let's skip everyone here. Let's start with this one first because Shanna gets more damage every turn. So let's make the blade stronger than hit the cross. Okay, she prepared well with 180,000. So now we wipe for her blade. Let's skip. 
I just need to be a little fast because uh, Kirino will heal, so the bled. This is 6,000 damage and her damage is very large in comparison. That's why you don't use bleed set and wound set. You only want the damage. Like now Shanna have buff for her bled, so you can make a bleed Shanna, but for that you need to pick her elemental effects. You to to make Shanna Shanna bleed, you want Mikoto main. You want Mikoto to have bleed refresh and if I'm not mistaken, it's this one here. You need reflection and eh, you need one soul to unlock reflection and pick this buff for Mikoto so that she can reflect bleed. And for Shana, you want in her elemental you want unrixed spell because it make her all bleed last one more turn, so her climax bled becomes two turns, so that Mikoto can refresh it, and you want the great one, because uh, what does do? Uh, I forgot, but you want that too, that is also a good one, and you want love you only, because it gives a buff for her blood damage, and make her use nice. Oh, yeah, this one make her climax eight skill eight uh, climax point. So, because if you compare her climax skill, these numbers here they are less than a uh, eight climax point skill. She gets 12. This is like 700 damage. If you go to Kirito main, she gonna have 700 damage on her climax. Kirito, it's not even max level. He have almost eight eight hundred damage. Like, why, why? So that's last effect. Uh, the last element effect. This one make bleed one more turn from Mikoto to reflash, and this one make her climax eight climax point. So it actually now have a good cost. So what you do is you use this turn two. You want this turn one, and Mikoto will reflash her blood, while Shana will spawn her cross skill. This is the new build Shana can do, and it's not bad. It's actually very good. You probably, if you ever go in a challenge that enemies have shield, and you can't dispel their shield. Shana can bypass it because Blade doesn't care about shield, so she has that for her now, and she's not that bad anymore for the crafted in. Probably the best non-limited four skill points that you can use, even if she is faster than bots, because her elemental now makes her turn one two skill points, so she can use her skill turn one before she could it because she was too fast to get a no skill points for that. And that is people. Uh, let me see if I forgot any equipment, but I think I did every relevant one. I talked about alternative fashion. Oh poser showed showed the guild set how how it works. You move two times, so three turn, turn three, turn five, turn seven, you get a buff. Uh, I don't have key quote anymore to show how much the blade increases, but if I'm not mistaken, this also increases the skill blade damage. Yeah, I think it does because Shanna's talent increases damage, her damage, not attack, and her bleed gets stronger every turn. So I think this also boosts her bleed damage. So there isn't even points to use this thing, unless you are well, unless you want more damage on specifically Shanna's climax for bled. You want that bleed there, but still isn't good. You better picking off and using this. 
Uh, I talked about Poser, but my only cross I can think that are three skill points are Kamineko and Alice Kirito, but I don't have Kirito sup upgraded and Kamineko doesn't do damage, so the difference wouldn't be great because they are low talents. But the higher your talent, the higher the difference the damage do. And I showed this with Tiger's Climax. She created uh, the, mo the most damage hit without this buff and did less. Uh, this one I don't have because it's very bad. Oh yeah, I forgot to show Sakurazo. Let me show it how it works. Bride and Kimono Shana. I forgot those. Yeah. Let me show how you use them. Okay, so now for so for unique equipments, we have Kimono Shana and Bride. Tatsuya also have a unique equipment, but uh, it's crit hate, so it doesn't appear as a buff. So I can't show it working since crit rate is chance. I could crit, I could not. There isn't a way to see it clearly, but it increases crit rate. Have that in mind. Okay, so uh, Mashiro skills 27% increasing damage. So let's use. So right here we have Genius, and uh, that's Mashiro skills. And this equipment set that gives more damage to you. This is Mashiro. So. Let's pass more turns. Now I want to see how powerful Bride Frey actually is now. So let's use Kimono Asuna Cross. She she's she's buffed, so she have more damage than normal. Uh, did increase Tarel, but it doesn't matter. Let's use her skill. Here, here, voice actor, have a good voice. So let's see here. We have 42 for her equipment and 36 from her climax skill. Uh, I can't see here, but her climax have weaker frail than her equipment set. So let's also show Monoshana skill 2 damage. This is base with good crits. She doesn't have a high, very high 4 skill point multiplier in her numbers because of her bleed gimmick. But that's okay. So now. Now. Okay, please. Okay. So. Mid will get Kasuna Freyo and those two remove Freyo. And I have here Muramasa with me. And if the enemy have a remov removable attack down or Freyo, I get more damage. So this thing will go crazy. Like, I didn't crit the last hit, and that's the most important hit, and I did more damage than when Kasuna was very buffed with her skill. So now I will show Monoshana. I don't uh, I need to use her climax skill first because her exclusive equipment only works with when she has her exclusive talent buff. She needs this thing here. She needs blazing wings. When she has this buff, every skill she uses will do Ah, extra damage on enemies. So let's see if I can show it here. Okay, skip. Now, look above enemy's head. They will, the blade will explode. It's very hard to see. Very hard to see, but you can see that she did. Uh, yeah, almost the same damage her climax did really here uh, was 
60 more yeah and she and if they have more stacks she will do more damage let's shoot oh we'll have her damage here too. she did 100 thousand damage with her skill one that's not possible because well, only possible because her her exclusive set gives her fixed amount of damage so let's see how powerful she will do now she does she she doesn't have so let's play indra here now she have a better explosion yeah but she critted less, but still, as you can see with her skill 1, her damage goes crazy, she gets a fixed amount of damage. If you have Shana main Elemental, her blade lasts one more turn, and because of that she gets even more damage, since her equipment says that 300% uh, damage is multiplied by the number of turns so by standard it's multiplied by 2 because it starts at 3 enemies move it gets to 2 she was skill at 2 and so she gets 600% her damage her blade damage with Shana's element her damage now lasts 4 turns so when she uses a 3 so 900% damage I don't have Shana Elemental to show how it's working, but it's a buff on her damage. And I think that is it. That was every equipment that you showed to use, and those you showed it. And Simon Fur, I didn't forget anyone because we only have three exclusive equipment. I am I am talking about all generic ones. Heal I can't show very well healing effect because I only have offensive equipment and the extra attack almost out, uh, out heal this effect but still the astronomy is only if you want to use you can use Bowser in your healer doesn't matter much because Bowser have more attack and this one they get more defense so to compensate they get healing the poser damage boost doesn't work on heals because heal doesn't do damage. Only healing boost boosts heals. And attack. This one on this useless. And this thing is trash. And that it's people. Thank you for watching. I hope you understand what I said during the video. If you didn't, you can leave on comments. I will answer them. And maybe uh, if if it doesn't get uh doesn't get clear what i said i maybe try to put subtitles don't know very late right now so who knows but still thank you for watching let me show my event progress right here thank you holo for appearing here so i am blue we are losing here apparently I need to do cave trial this time. I did uh, the single target one, got a good score. So this score is if you kill the enemy, 10,000 if you kill first, and 10,000 if you kill second. Uh, maybe I can do it because climax spam is very strong, so I could make a team without any equipment whatsoever and a character that can spawn his climax with a bunch of buffs and kill and the other team have everything and kill with good damage so for the shop I have I got everything here because I was missing some fragments and Hue and it's free fragment so I picked everything I hate those spam numbers Bam bots So shot 2 I got everything For the same reason I want that Mikoto frags Because I was using her for my AOE Decrepted Dream 
spoiler new team will come probably right after this video I will post my new team and doing the runs because Alice got very overpowered so I wanted Mikoto frags and they were the last ones so I picked everything this one I got very lucky I did like 10 pool and got this one as the third pool as you can see everything is here I did some pulls after that but got this very early then I got this also this here very early too you can see that there isn't anything I got beside that very lucky and I am trying to pick Hinata illustration because I want to have all exclusive ex exclusive things they give uh, Emmy took place of the illustration so you can get the background I think let me check here I don't think you have the background anymore yeah we get we got Alice again but we don't have the background anymore said with the, the song that, that, that plays is very good Crossing Void have very good music you can't deny that it's very good so I will get this finally Eugio got some frags for those who pulled him sadly he's very weak poor boy but now he has frags uh, Kirino frags I, I want more I was I was going to pick her on exchange, but as a healer, she's already have enough attack for everything that I need. So I, after getting Hinata, I will go in this shop to get more Alice frags. I already have this Hui, so I will get 30 frags and more 25 here. So 55 Alice frags to push to all talents. But I don't think I'll get an upgrade. So my god for everyone. Uh, I am saving for Ouroboros. Uh, as you can see here, I I loaded with tickets. This is enough for guaranteed. So I at least one Ouroboros I will get. And for those that doesn't have a least broken elementium. Oro Boros Awaken 2 is very strong on our way because you can because at uh, with 10 climax points you can only do four times you can only use four climax with a good rotation you can make you can made it five but you need to to do some things that I wouldn't like to use like uh, five you need a cross cross skill with five skill points and you you mostly want to use kimono asuna with alice for that so but when you are climaxing you you aren't getting kimono asuna talent because alice is on her so it's something i don't like so i stick it with four ten climax but with Ouroboros Awaken 2, you, you can pick 8 climax points. So, where's Kirito Boy? Here. You can pick his climax skill and use 6 times. It's very strong, 6 times. But you need Kirito to be very upgraded, very, very stacked with talents. Or, if you have Mage Tiger, you can use her instead because her elemental makes her damage crazy you pick this one for her climax to kill 8 sp and this buff is crazy damage hate is one of the strongest type of buffs you can get in the game damage hate and attack buff is very strong so if you have her Ouroboros Awaken 2 you can you can use her I uh, in another account that I got out of Boros Awaken 2 she is rank A with with uh, 60 talents on Valor 6 talents in Aggression and 6 talents on Ardor and I got over 600,000 uh, score with her but still Ouroboros have chance to not work 
and you use clean, hair climax six times. So good luck if you have it. Next video, I will talk about Alyssa Mitchell. I got everything because she's very good, very strong, and her element is broken. So just wait a few minutes, maybe an hour or two, and you'll get a new video. Bye, people. Uh, Holo trust me, and her opinion is the only that matters. Bye bye.